Lance Barton. Well, what is this place? This is heaven. Ah, heaven. I've had this dream before. Hey, hey, I said no. Go to hell. That's Chris Rock on his way to heaven and down to earth, but it turns out heaven made a mistake, and he was taken up there prematurely, so he's returned to earth, and if that sounds familiar, it's because this is a remake of Heaven Can Wait, the 1978 Warren Beatty film. After complaining to the head angel, who was named Mr. King and played by Chaz Palminteri, Rock is returned to Earth where he inspects his new body. Mr. Wellington, please don't get up. Damn, he's dead. Yep, that's bad, though. So if I take his body, I'm going to look like that, right? Well, I can't go to the Apollo in that body. How am I supposed to get laughs looking like him? Come on, he looks funny to me. Once he occupies the body, he looks like a 60-ish white millionaire to everybody else in the movie, but he looks like Chris Rock to us in the audience. He falls in love with a community activist played by Regina King, but the movie loses lots of opportunities for humor because it never really deals with the way he must look to her. Hey, Sati, Charles Wallington again. You haven't called me. You know, I was just wondering if we can get together and catch a movie, play something. Hey, Santi. Charles Wellington. Are you there? I know you're there. I know you're there. I got the phone. I know you're there. Chris Rock is a bright and funny man, but Down to Earth is not a bright and funny movie. Starting next week, both of you get a 200% raise. Are you happy? I'm ecstatic. It never really addresses the actual situation, and it gets bogged down instead in subplots about the millionaire's unfaithful wife, who I kind of like an actress anyway, and is cheating employees, and it expects Regina King to make an emotional U-turn with this old white guy that up until now she has always hated. I don't expect plausibility, but I at least expect the movie to play fair with its own premise. Chris Rock says his success has given him the freedom to choose his projects. If Down to Earth is an example of the choices he's making, maybe he should go back to being a hired gun. Yeah, you're absolutely right. right. You know, Chris Rock is a guy who, in his stand-up material, is so smart. And he's got a lot of serious things to say in a real funny yeah. way. Mm -hmm. And then he's in this lame braid, kind of half-hearted effort. I mean, you pinpointed that they don't really try that hard to keep all the plot elements together. In Heaven Can Wait with Warren Beatty and Julie Christie, the side characters who were trying to murder the millionaire remain a part of the plot. Charles Grodin, I think Diane Cannon were in that movie. And they were so good and funny. In this movie, they just sort of, the, the side characters just kind of fall apart. And you're right, they never really talk about what her real reaction would be to this. They, they call him a middle-aged white guy, but we get glimpses of him. He looks like he's about 100 years old. <laughs> and that's the whole joke of it. Like, oh, it's a, it's a black character within a white guy. But we don't see him. We see him always as yeah. Chris Rock. Uh -huh. And, you know, Chris Rock is a lot of things, but I don't think he's leading man material. And it just well, really he could, falls he could, No, I think he could be leading man material, and the right material, of course. But here, yeah. the problem is that the basic premise, I'm Chris Rock and I'm in, Side, the 60 year old white guy mm -hmm. is where all the comedy should come from yeah that's what's funny and they completely try to avoid that probably because chris rock is where they have all their money and so they want him on the screen all the exactly. time exactly but as long as the millionaire looks like chris rock where's the joke then why do this movie that's right. a, you know a remake of such a such a fine film mm -hmm. and instead they just make him a stand-up comedian well that's a real stretch okay